Hey guys, I noticed that my Final Space review has gotten a lot more attention than I expected, which thank you guys for commenting on it. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you enjoyed the show itself. Now this is something that I have i haven't really seen anyone talk about yet. I mean, I haven't admittedly looked that hard into it, but I thought I'd just give my opinion of it. The Lord Commander is a creation of Gary. Now, what we see of Jack, his father's co-pilot, John Goodspeed, uh, we see that his co-pilot is his friend of 29 years. He talks about eating taquitos, and he's a pretty simple person. And we only get like, what, 30 seconds of that through the very, very small points in time that we see him. But the characters have this instant hate for him, obviously because of what he has done to the universe in causing all this terrible, terrible tragedy throughout. However, I have a very distinct feeling that the Lord Commander is the way the Lord Commander is, is because Gary and his dad beat the crap out of him during a time freeze. Now, had they not done so, maybe he wouldn't have come out evil from the blast of the Nebula thingamabiggy. But I'm pretty certain because Gary and John literally beat the ever-loving crap out of him, that he is the way he is. Especially that one point where Gary tries to speak to him. He said he calls him Jack. He's like, why'd you call me that? So like, you were a good man once. And he's like, oh, well, that changes absolutely nothing. And maybe it's because he remembers or he knows what was caused by, you know, what caused his pain was Gary and his dad in an act of betrayal to a sense. And that's why he feels that he is more akin to the Titans because they gave him this power. Whereas his loyalty to the Infinity Guard and to his friend, his co-pilot, led him to being getting the crap beaten out of him. So that's just my theory. I'm interested to see if the second season, which apparently there's six um, that are going to happen, um, if they do kind of touch more on how the Lord Commander became as powerful as he did, um, if they explain why the Infinity Guard gave up why they were willing to let the world be sacrificed because that was something that wasn't touched on really at all and i'm hoping that they do touch on that they don't go a whole first order around and they just it's there because it's there so i hope that they do a little bit better of a backstory building with that um but we'll i guess we'll see anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this little video just a little talk about him uh i hope you enjoyed the show and i'm excited to see when this comes out next. The thing that I'm actually kind of interested about though is that this show premiered, um, it premiered on TBS in February and we got it now, but it's called a Netflix original now. So I don't know if TBS decided to not keep it or if Netflix is now its homeboy. So that's something that's kind of interesting because to be honest, I did not hear anything about this show when it came out. Now admittedly I'm a Canadian and we don't have TBS anymore. Um, we haven't had it for decade almost a decade now but i'm very interested to see how the distri the distribution for this show will continue especially into next year anyways that's all from me guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise that's all from me see you guys next time